Hi friends. If you click to see the new sky face it from Sonya G, then please keep on watching. If it's your first time here, my name is Alicia. Thank you so much for coming. And if you are returning, thank you for coming again. Kinky Sweat stands for my kinky hair and sweat life. I'm a fitness professional who loves things, all movement and beauty. If you want to check out what I do in between the makeups, you can head over to my Instagram. First off, going to get a little gush. So before we start this video, time stamps will be down below. If you care to skip over to whatever section you want to see, I just cannot Thank you guys enough. First of all, when one of you had tagged me about her new sky face set, I nearly died. When I saw the blue handles, I just was not prepared. I simply was not prepared. When I commented on her Instagram post, she DM me to say they're on the way. I'm like, Oh my god, Sonia. I was, I just, I was beside myself. I didn't expect to be sent this set. Thank you to Sonia. Thank you to Claire from Beautylish. When I received that shipment email, I was like, oh my god. And to you guys, I mean, the fact that you take time out of your day to tag me and say, hey, Pat, check out Alicia's YouTube channel. Sonia, can you please send the brushes to Alicia so she could review? It's just like, it's just so thoughtful. And you don't have to do that. And you do and to share my videos and to talk about me with your friends whoever's willing to listen I cannot thank you guys enough and just from your collaborative efforts we're able to make this happen and thank you again to Sonia to Claire I am I'm still beside myself to have received this brush set and as you know I do quite a lot of brush reviews on my channel and I have a lot of Sonia brush reviews on my channel so this will be another one for the books so squad you are beyond the best i can't thank you enough and know that your efforts your sharing your love and your care they're not overlooked and every day i'm just more and more thankful for the community we've built and for your ongoing and invaluable support you're the best thank you so much i love you and with that said, today we're taking a look at the newest addition to the Sonya G family, her sky face set. <sighs> look, at, you knew, you know I had to paint my nails so we could match the handles. You knew! I got my magnetic multi-chrome. I mean, they match. They match the handles. Before we go forward, I heavily encourage you to go to Sonya's site, SweetMakeupTemptations.com. Her latest three blog posts primarily focus on the sky set in terms of FAQs, breaking each brush down from the craftsmanship to the dimension to the purpose, challenges she faced. I mean, there's no one better than Sonya herself to better articulate and just dive in to the details like she does with her own brushes. And that's why I respect her as a brush maker because these are so well thought out. All her brushes from her original collection up through now, the craftsmanship and the thought that goes into these designs is unmatched. And that's why I've invested heavily in her brushes. This was comp, but I would have bought this brush set myself because I know she would not fail us in design function and overall performance so aren't you proud of me i washed them so they're nice and fluffed out for the video for some quick details hopefully i can get this video up by monday but this set will launch on monday september 16th i'm not sure the time maybe it will be usually is around 1 p.m eastern standard i will put the time up next to me if i do get it if not I will put it down in the description box. This set is exclusively sold on Beautylish and I'm sure if you are on their email, they have already sent you the pre-order. So you probably already taken care of that. I am on Sonia's website right now. This is her most recent blog post where she breaks down each brush and its function. This set will cost $270. At the moment, it is only offered as a set. Sonia is a small brand and to create a set alongside with individual brushes was just way too much of endeavor for her and this is not limited edition as long as there's interest definitely there will be interest so i'm sure she will eventually make individuals it's not going to happen right away the set will come first and again it's 270 dollars. and the reason why it is more expensive this time around is because the lacquer for these blue handles 
was very expensive to make apparently there are two layers of lacquer it's the same wood but two layers of lacquer to ensure that you see the sparkles here it's hard to see on camera you have to see it in person i mean they are literally glowing and this shade of blue is just divine i mean you can't get anything better than this this is perhaps one of the best looking brushes i have in my collection alongside her original face pro and standard sets i have to say i love the blue i like blue better than red so i'm definitely biased in that way in terms of what colors i favor but oh my gosh like are you freaking kidding me so we have five brushes for the sky set and i will quickly go over the differences between what now is her three current face sets i have some of her original face brushes here i'll pull out a couple of my favorites here we have the sculpt one the face one as well as her face two distinguishable by their wider base handles the first face set was really to act as a supplementary set for the brush collector if you love brushes if you collect brushes this collection was kind of to fill the holes to perform specific tasks that maybe were not achievable with the brushes you had at the time so she made very distinct shapes and designs to help you with those holes in again your makeup application she loves fan brushes so the first round is heavily heavily dominated by fan brushes the reason i have two that almost look the same is because she redesigned her sculpt two so that's why they look similar but this is her sculpt four and sculpt one as i just showed so she has a lot of fan brushes in her collection these are made in japan they are hand bundled and again she goes into more detail on her blog but that is a huge part of the reason why these are so expensive natural bristles are very very hard to hand bundle and depending on how they're bundled and how the ferrule is designed will determine the brush's function it's very in-depth and very fascinating i'm i wish i could say more but that's why they're expensive okay these are now machine made these are artisans who are creating these brushes by hand by the bristle okay I can't even comprehend how difficult that is so that's why her brushes are very very well worth the money but if you have Sony G you know that already okay now the pro set her face pro set which was heavily 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 popular the face pro set was designed with lighter handles again with the pro in mind but anyone could use these brushes these were designed for very specific tasks to be one and done there's no need to spend time on blending is going to do it for you in seconds you have every brush for every task for your complexion products from bronzer to finishing powder to loose powder to blush to highlight and again because this is a pro set in terms of they just being very laser and precise in their role this is what the collection serves. if you have her original set some people just picked up one or two brushes from her face pro set when they eventually were available as individuals but some people are are collectors like myself i needed to have all of them because these are gorgeous brushes her face pro has been my number one choice for bronzer inoshige pro is just perfect for blush anything for that matter i have a video on the face pro set and i've been using it non-stop it's definitely one of my most favorite brushes to use now the sky set she's so funny she brought up circumstances that i feel we know all too well when on the go you're in bad light or you don't have a mirror and you just have to trust that whatever brush you have is gonna hold you down and not make you look crazy and muddy but unfortunately there have been times when you think you blended enough but you step out into daylight or someone sees your makeup and asks is there something on your face no not that i like your bronzer there's something on your face we've all been through that she designed the sky set to be there for you in the most inopportune unideal times that if you don't have the great light if you don't have a mirror your blend is going to be flawless and you don't have to worry about a thing it's funny when i first read it was called the sky set i thought about 007 from that movie skyfall i'm not sure she thought about that as inspiration but think about james bond he needs to make the mission happen in the most unideal circumstances and i feel these are what these brushes are like you got agent classic cheek you got agent soft cheek agent mini cheat agent worker fan you got agent master face 
That's the story I made up in my head. If it's gonna help you understand the sky set better, then here, take it, it's yours. And that is the inspiration behind her designing this set. This is definitely from beginner to pro. So it just offers up a wide spectrum of application technique, opportunity for anyone who is using brushes for the first time, anywhere in between who is an enthusiast or to the pro who knows what they're doing, but they just need their brushes to deliver and deliver well. Why don't we go over the first one, which is the one I am so looking forward to trying. This is her master face. On her blog, the master face is a powder foundation brush, a buffer, a blender. It could also be used for bronzer, a blush, depending on the pigmentation. It says here is big and dense, shaped like a ball. You got dyed psychoho bristles as well as undyed, much like her salt and pepper mixture in the Face Pro brush from her Pro set. They're very different. You can see that this is a lot more dense and this is a lot more fluffy and it's angled as well. It's dense, but it's not gonna disturb your foundation, it says here. It's very soft, but it's still gonna do the job. And this was designed with very hard to pick up products in mind, much like those gelée type of formula. So we will tap into one of those bronzers for the demo. You could apply mineral or pressed powder foundation. You could set with the powder, buff and blend. You could apply a healthy glow powder, blush for larger areas if you just want that big flushed effect on the cheeks. Soft Cheek is the brush I am looking most forward to using. Dome brush that delivers sheer to medium coverage, is versatile size and density, can be used as blush brush, bronzer, sculpting, setting, finishing. You can literally use this brush with so many things. It could jump from one job to the other in such a brilliant, easy way, she says. I feel like she's right, absolutely. I washed it so it fluffed out a little bit and here up close you can see it's long, but it's not flimsy. It still has some push to it, but still so airy in feel, like, oh my God. Here is next to the Neutral Gate Pro. You see the Neutral Gate is much more tapered. It's a lot more dense and this is a lot more airy so it's going to give you a different finish for sure classic cheek sonia says classic cheek is the most versatile and universal blush brush you could ever envision due to its size density and shape this brush is also appropriate for bronze or contour or highlight it offers scalable precision and intensity depending on how you hold it or the pressure you use i'm happy i washed it so it fluffed out a little bit you can see that it's pinched but it's still so round and is beautifully tapered next to the cheek pro from her pro set where is it hello cheek pro excuse me you can see the cheek pro is a lot flatter and this is going to give you a, just a different finish altogether, especially since this is undyed and this is dyed. Next up, we have the mini cheek. Precise tool when you're looking for targeted application, but you don't necessarily want heavy results at the very first swipe, Sonia says. Bundled with the curved ferrule, this ferrule will open up the bristles and give it a more fluffy, airy shape. It's a gem as a highlighting brush or contour, but it could also be used for very precise blush, powder, or bronzer application. I was very intrigued by this design it very much of course reminded me of her detail pro and you see here the detail pro is a lot smaller in brush size and i feel would just offer up a different function altogether but it's nice to have a slightly bigger brush if you'd like to apply a little more highlight than the average person but still it looks smooth and airy on application and lastly we have our worker fan worker fan sonia writes is the fan that could do any task you want hence worker in the name it's the perfect size and density to handle blush bronzer sculpting and even and highlight is actually a smaller version of the current sculpt one i'm obsessed with sculpt one's body and capabilities the size of the worker fan is far more versatile if you want to use it for even more tasks she's referring to this brush that we showed earlier from her original collection you see that sculpt one is a lot bigger and it seems like the worker fan brush it's just gonna be a little more versatile as she said because of its size you could probably use this for blush for highlight despite it not being your typical small fan brush. I can't wait to use this for, I mean, anything, especially if I could, ooh, maybe I could use this with my Shiseido concealer. This is made with thicker Haku Totsuho bristles, highly efficient and blend as they apply, effortless, fluffy, 
Wow. And again, as you scroll further through the blog, she compares her brushes to her own brushes. So if you're working with the fan, she compares it to the other fans and she compares her other brushes to I just go to her just go to her blog you will not be disappointed and any questions that you have I'm sure she will answer or she'll be more than happy to answer if the answers are not on there already I want to start this demo so with that said I already have foundation on I apply the Shiseido synchro skin foundation in 360 citrine I also dab some of the concealer as well in 301 medium what I wanted to do now is go in with one of the brushes to now set the concealer I haven't uploaded a video yet but I do have the Shiseido radiant loose powder which I have been loving I mean the fact that it doesn't come up unless you push it down is quite extraordinary and you're too far coming a little closer what brush should we use i think i will use the mini cheek i know it says mini cheek but this is an ideal size to apply loose powder to your under eyes with because it's just so small and perfect so we're gonna do that oh you know, I always know what to expect from Sonia. She always delivers. But anytime I try a new brush from her, it's just such a pleasure. It really is an experience and you get spoiled. Because when you see how smooth your makeup appears and then no matter the day, your makeup is going to blend. Because I've had some days that I'll use the same brush, but it'll just turn out the worst. And I'm like, I did this yesterday and it was fine. Now I'll take her soft cheek brush with Pat's loose powder. I just want to whip this around like with abandonment is because look, oh man. Ooh. I think about Mel when I do this because she loves to buff. I feel she's going to flip when she uses this. She's going to love this so much. Oh my god, this just look at that. Boop, boop, boop. Look how fast it goes. But it's just so lightweight. And again, we'll use this brush to buff out our bronzer, blush, and whatever we choose to apply. And it's not gonna move it. It just feels so soft. Like the glide and the the movement is amazing. Mm. Okay, so we apply our little powder. What's next? Master face. Let's do master face. So when she mentioned in her blog that this was designed to pick up hard to pick up textures let's dive into the bronzer shade from the charlotte tilbury love gasm face palette this is like the gelée type of formula sonia was talking about let's see what it does i'm gonna oh my god you know what's so remarkable about this brush the fact that it's denser than most but it still is so airy at the same time i don't understand i definitely think sonia achieved what she wanted with this design because she was saying how difficult it was in it's like a, a duality type of experience you want the brush to work you want it to pick up product but you don't want it to disturb what's underneath and the fact that is picking up beautiful product i'm going in just because i want to build this but look at that that is great coverage and it looks so smooth look at that oh my god just for kicks i have also fenty beauty's beige and gal because some of you had said that this was hard to pick up as well even though it's not a traditional gelée type of formula it's i consider this more pressed powder but not like like a typical pressed powder bronzer oh that's nice too i love that i could just do this with the design of the brush that's nice because look how it just kind of spreads oh my gosh sonia why are you so good tell me why you are so good listen and i love i love this one as well because of its angle and i feel it's great just to get it right in the hollows of the cheekbones but Oh, that light change. Hey. What's next? Ooh, I want to apply blush. But I was, oh, there's so many things I want to do. Okay, okay, okay. I already have a ton of bronzer, but this is for the demo, okay? Worker fan with Natasha's bronze color because I could probably use this as like, you know, to get that contour in. Yes! That's what we wanted. Friends, I have three bronzers on i have three bronzers on and look how smooth my skin is it is so smooth and this could be great for buffing as well 
the end of your makeup routine because it's so wide and so soft. Ooh, let's use, ooh, classic cheek. I still wanna use classic cheek for something. What do I want to do? I'm gonna dive into Cover of X's uh, Warm Honey because this packs a punch, but I wanna see if the design of this brush would kinda help. Oh, that's, ooh, that's a lot of product. You're not playing around. I'm gonna punch that in, but what we'll do is take our soft cheek and just diffuse the heck out of that blush. And there we go. Fixed, done, solved. Amazing. Look at, look at me, look at me. I wanna use this for the Cover of X highlighting shade and just right, yes. Ooh, this is a perfect brush for this type of highlight. I don't use it often because sometimes it's like, I don't know where to put it. And then I feel like I'm doing too much, but this brush picks up just the right amount. I'm gonna give that a wipe and dive back into Natasha's Tan Brows and Glow palette. And oh yes, this is great for highlight. And especially if you don't like a whole lot, I would just, well, first of all, if I wanted more, I would spritz first and then maybe go in with her Detail Pro because that's gonna give you a little more application more precisely on the very high points of the cheekbone. And like I mentioned to buff, I'll grab my Jouer Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder in the shade Medium. Now with Soft Cheek and give that a buff. You know, I love all the brushes in here. This has to be my favorite. And it's hard because it's like picking my favorite child, but the soft cheek, I'm just so impressed with because this is unlike anything I feel like she has in her current collection. Yes, it kind of resembles or it reminds me of the Nichogi Pro, Nichoge, but it's still, because it's dome shaped, it's not the same. Like it's not the same feel. Look how smooth my skin is. Hold on, wait, you wanna cut, like, look at this. We have, three bronzers, two highlights, and a blush. My foundation didn't move, nothing looks heavy. My under eyes look really smooth. I really love applying powder with the smaller brush to set my concealer. This is, ex this is extraordinary. Just to see, I'll take now the mini cheek with a little bit of the bronzer shade from Natasha's palette and just buff that very wildly into my crease because I feel like this is a good way also to get color fast on the eyes. If you have small eyes, maybe this could be used to just feather out the edges of your eye look, whatever you've done, and then you can just use this to brush the very top edges of the shadow to finish. Not bad, not bad. You could also just pull it across the lid as well. I, you know, I'm not surprised that I love these brushes so much. And I gotta tell you, they are worth every penny. And I can say that because I bought the Pro Set and I bought a lot of her original face brushes as well. Like her brushes do not disappoint. And for those who think they're not worth it, you are entitled to your opinion. There are people that use her brushes. They don't see the big deal. I mean, I don't know what you're doing in terms of that. That wasn't to be rude, but I don't know what products you're using these with. I don't know how you're taking care of your brushes, the pressure you're, I don't, I don't know what's going on. So I can't really tell you what you're doing wrong or what's happening with the brush. They are natural hair brushes, so they will shed. I always recommend that you wash your new brushes just so that won't happen on the first application, but expect that because again, these are hand bundled and one loose bristle might fall out from time to time. Now, if you can't use natural hair because you are allergic, then yes, of course you have to use synthetic because I don't want you to break out in hives using Sonaji brushes. And for those who are just not using for ethical reasons, the Japanese are very strict with how they treat animals in regards to making brushes. They are not cruel to them. I think they like gently just brush the hair and whatever gets into the bristles is what's used to make the brushes. People still feel that is not cruelty free and we could leave it at that. I feel when it comes to powder products, the best finish is just going to be from natural hair brushes. You can achieve good finish from a synthetic brush, but the smoothness though, and it being zero risk of mud, 
And let's say you ask, what's the difference between a Zoeva brush and a Sony brush? Well, a Zoeva brush is machine made and the bristles are laser cut. So that blunt end, that blunt edge is going to make a huge difference in terms of how your makeup blends and how it performs and how it looks on your skin. Hand bundled bristles are bundled as is. They are not cut with a laser. They're not bundled with the machine. So the application is promised each and every time with these crafted brushes. And that's why they're just more expensive because they're harder to make. You're not just paying for the name, especially when it comes to Sonia's brushes. If you're on the fence about investing in a brush set, let me tell you, especially with this sky set, I mean, it is phenomenal. I just dived into it today. I already went in with my expectations because again, yes, I love Sonia. I love Beautylish. I've also used her brushes extensively and you've seen me do so in my videos. You've seen how great my makeup looks. Yeah, they're amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna highly recommend them. And I didn't pay for them myself. Once again, I always wanna bring that to the forefront because I feel someone's gonna remind me, listen, you do what you want, but if you're thinking about buying them, you will not be disappointed. I hope this demo helped in you steering your decision if you wanna buy the set or maybe you wanna wait for the individuals. If you do buy the set, if you've been waiting a long time to dive in, I guarantee you're just going to love them. These are so multifunctional and the fact that they could just perform numerous tasks, I mean, the possibilities are endless and you will just be left with the most beautiful blend no matter where you are, no light, dim light, too much light, bad mirror, spit on the mirror, whatever. They're not gonna let you down. Let me know if you are grabbing this collection. If you have any questions about how they compare to her other brushes, let me know down below. Again, I will post a link to her blog in the description box so you can go over there and just nerd out on all the information she has. And again, a huge thank you to Sonia. Thank you so much. Claire from Beautylish, thank you. And to you guys, my squad my kinky sweat squad. Thank you again so much for your love and support. And until then, friends, that is a wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until then, I'll see you on here again with another tutorial review, get ready with me, or brush video. Take care and I'll see you again soon.